Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today we're actually a video, and today I'll be showcasing Wolf Freeze. Now, I don't feel like a ton of people know this deal's good, but I don't feel like a ton of people have seen this thing in action. So, I feel like that's my job to show you this thing in action and let it cook up. So, again, I feel like a physical one's better, just mainly because of the plus 5 extra attack it has, the magic attack. But, for the boost, we have plus 10 percent attack and speed, for the trait rush. And, I mean, I don't have a lot of speed equipments on, because... I mean, half of it, so let's just say around 75. So plus 75, that's automatically a 230 stat. Or that's a 220 stat, sorry. So we get 220 speed, and that outspeeds everything besides Vitality, Springling, and Vitality, Humbiscus, and obviously Hidden Trait Chronos, but we're doing comps, so it doesn't matter. So I mean, like, honestly, this thing's gonna go first every single time besides priority, which I feel like will make it really, really useful when we first send it out. For the moves, Icy Slash, first Onslaught, Quick Ice and Roll Ice. Now, I feel like a ton of Wolf Freeze users, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, they don't use Roll Ice enough. Like, there's so many opportunities to use it for stall or to greatly lower their attack, the purpose of it. So, like, don't really use it. So, you guys are going to see, like, overuse it a little bit. So I'm using that to my advantage. It's always to protect with some upside for me because I can greatly lower their attack. Icy Slash first Onslaught just for coverage. And I could say, you could run Crunch. But this thing is a, like, powerhouse on offense. So they're probably gonna switch. So that plus 50% more damage to me is really important. With lethal ornaments, plus 80% more damage. And then quick, guys. This is, like, this should just be called Rotera County for the, for the name. Like, this is, like, the main reason why I have it. I also have it just in case I already use my rush trait. And, like, there's, like, Combiscus. And, like, you guys get that. Like, it's mainly just to cover those speedy quick doodles, or if there's a doodle that's super low, that'll probably outspeed me. For the equipment, candy headphones, ruby pendant, chewed up bone, I'm mainly mainly focusing on attack, but I didn't want to lower my stats severely, because I'm trying to live a, like, a super effective hit when I greatly lower their attack. Like, that can set up so many opportunities, so I didn't severely lower any, like, defense and HP stats besides the candy headphones. Like, the rest I kept positive or neutral, I mean, neutral, because I didn't really boost any. And I, like I already said, lethal ornament plus 30 percent more damage. And this is not the team around it. I'm sorry. I did not get it ready, and I kind of flunked it. But, yeah, the team around it's good. I'll just put it like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, first battle, and we'll freeze, I think, counters, 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 neutral. All right, so we counter five out of the six. But again, Polar Joyce is, I believe, not very effective against us. So, oh, that's an easy icy slap. Wait a minute. Would that kill? Because you got to keep in mind, this thing is high HP and 140 defense stat. Like, if I'm running magical, this thing dies five times. But I'm running physical. Ah, I really don't think it will. Some skins roll ice, honestly. Like, I don't think this thing has a. I don't know, wait, days. That's an interesting move. But I was going to say, I really didn't think it had some like type of support move. So I felt pretty safe doing that. And now... We want Icy Slash. Screw it. If we die, we die. You know, sometimes... He, sometimes if I just got to let that go. If I die, I die. It's okay, though. So, wait. They might be switching. If they're really like taking this long, they're probably going to switch. So, if they go Hatchix, we go Ferocious Onslaught. To Sumo, we'll do this again. Task Marauder, we go Ferocious Onslaught. Uh, if they go into Polar jo Uh oh. Oh my god. Bro. Oh. Oh. I thought that was about to be the end of the video right there because I just couldn't kill Monologue. That actually did a lot of damage. Um. Should we use Ferocious Onslaught just in case they try being slick? Like, does it really matter? Yeah, alright. Whatever. And now, Polar Dice will switch. The rest, we're going all out with our attacks. So I'm kind of curious what they do. So, what do you do? What do you do? What they gonna do? Alright, let's go Ferocious Onslaught. And that's gonna kill Awaken. Because Awaken has Spell Shield, which is times two. Or it takes... Half less magical damage or half less magical damage from that. All right, I'm afraid it's wrong. Half damage from magical attacks. There we go. Take that kill. And honestly, I'm not sure if we want to lose prayer, get health back, 
or just sacrifice this thing. So I'll probably get Polar Geist now. And it's like, he's kind of cold because it'll kill. I'm like, or do I have Quick Ice? You know, the Polar Geist could have Quick Ice. I might just use Roll Ice just to tease it. Yeah, we're going to use Roll Ice just to tease, just in case they have Quick Ice, which I doubt. But the Polar Geist nerf that recently happened, yikes. That is a bad nerf. Is it physical? Wait, that actually helps a lot, but I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm surprised that they actually just... Okay. So, beast type, that's not very effective against the sumo. And then we also use fiery punch. Or, wait. I mean... Wait, oh shoot, I just realized. I just, like, did that without even processing what I just did. So... You know what, honestly, I'm just going to awaken. Wait, no, I'm, I'm going to select this. So probably, I'm not sure if that was the right move, but I really feel like if I stay in this form, I'll have a higher chance to live, just in case they bring out, like, Feral Fury. Boo. All right, we actually played that right. And with Web Ball, all right, that does more than half. Now, I probably die next boo. I just misclicked. Whatever. I was going to awaken. No way we actually lived. Alright. Now, honestly, do we say, screw it, we're not going to live? Like, honestly, I think that's the route right here. Just say, screw it, we're probably not going to live. Awaken, Feral Fury. Like, honestly. Like, why not? So, after that, would they switch? And they could switch into Sumo. That, like, no, because I Psycho Force and out speed. I mean, honestly, we're in control right now. Do we outspeed the question? <laughs> no. We're slow. So then, now what? Oh. What? How we outspeed? How did we just outspeed a Polar Geist? Doesn't that thing have, like, over 100 speed stat? Alrighty. That, that just happened. I don't really know what to say. Whatever. They go to Sumo, well, Psycho Force, Task Marauder. Wait, I think Psycho Force is super effective against the rest. Yeah. All right, we probably die. Right? Yeah, no way we live. Savage Blow, yeah, we're dead. All right. We lowered our defense, so we could go out right back into Wolf Freeze and just... So Wolf Freeze will live two more turns, not getting hit. So we got to use that wisely. So I'm saying we use one turn using first onslaught on the Task Marauder and the other turn we'll use Icy Slash on the um, GS Error. And I just realized we don't counter the, the Sumo because I forgot the recent change. Wait. Wait a minute. So would we kill a GS Error is the question. Now I figured why not use Roll Ice because just in case they have their Swift Talk user much without help, but why not? Alright, that's dead. Yeah, we got one more use out of this thing. So, they'll probably go to Sumo. And if that's the case, it is what it is. If they don't, yippee. Choose wisely. And they spend the gears there. Alright. And, do we, no, why would we quick ice? I mean, I could roll ice, because it's a physical attacker. I mean, honestly... That's not a bad idea, because this thing's gonna die on contact, and if we hit the Gyrosero, I doubt it's gonna die. I mean, honestly, I'm, oh my god, they're taking forever, I'm just gonna cut till I found it, right as I say that, alright. Ooh, we kill. And they're running sticky. Alright, interesting team. Now we've gotta kill the Tsumo, and we are good. So, what's the perfect, in you know what, screw it. It's not what's super effective. It's I should do the sumo versus the sumo battle because that will prove who is the better to sumo. Or I could go Rotera and spam Wing Slash. Or I could I think I'm super effective with everything. I'm literally super effective with everything. Do we pull out the Eeny Meeny Miny Mo? Hmm. All right, let's go to sumo. Let's go. We got proof that we had the better to sumo. So we'll spam the bower. And we should win this sumo bout. And what the? 
Magical attacking to Sumo. Magical attacking to Sumo. Okay. You see something new every day. You come across Sticky Geoceras. You come across Chef Chi Blast uh, to Sumo. I mean, quite an interesting day. Oh, well, Swift Hook. So, Swift Hook, and we should take the W. Wolf Freeze definitely hit very hard. I mean, we could all agree on that. I'm actually pretty surprised. Swift Hook, you're dead. And that's a G. Jeez. We win that game, and we take the W. Let's go, baby. All right, next battle, and... Right the I think... I think we can... Wait, I'm gonna say neutral, counter, counter, count. Wait, is this mono bug? This is literally mono bug. Alright, well, it's abuse. Wolf Reeves. Oh, wait. Are they. I don't think they're super effective. I mean, no, they're beast type. Oh, but I already know it's Determination Jelly Revival. Like, I already know that. Do I use, yeah, I'm just going to use Royal Ice. I think it's a physical attack. I, I got to showcase that. Because, like, that's a really good for setting up B Summon. And you can do, like, so many other things with it, too. It's honestly, like, such a W doodle. It's just underused because no one knows about it. It's, like, the most forgotten Rink Island doodle. All right, there's B Summon. And honestly, if we Swift Hook and then use Fiery Punch, it doesn't change anything. But we'll see Fiery Punch because as a smarter move. Darks. Okay. And of course we get our defense lowered. Like, what's the world PvP without RNG? Obviously. Like, what is that? Alright, we'll Swift Hook. Just in case they try doing anything silly. I don't know what they could do that would be silly. But we just gotta play it safe. Alright. They pull out the reboot card. And they get right back to half. And we'll see Fiery Punch again. That's gonna do it. Give me down half. All right. Yep. Oh, disease. Like they need something that just poisons you, like that can self-inflict poison. Cause that'll be so much better on Tsumo. Cause like you put Tsumo on a time clock with the disease. Cause after four turns, it hits really hard with disease. First poison, it does the same amount every time. And if you say burn it. A, I don't think the lighter the lighter works on a fire type. B, that tw that lowers your attack by twenty five percent. So, it's only just a 25% boost trump card. So, like, that's why I don't really like to do that. Mm. Oh, we're dead. You know what? We'll just go out to Swift Hook. Why not? We, we could out speed, honestly. Fiery Punch. Because I know Rift Event's not super fast, but nor are we. Yeah, they just strike. Alright. And now, we could go Wolfree, so we could go Voltatu. <sighs> I feel like Wolfree's is better here. Just to roll ice abuse right here. Honestly, why not? Again, I don't feel like... Now, you guys can prove me wrong. Because I know top people use Wolf Freeze. Wolf Freeze users don't take advantage of Roll Ice. I have faced probably 99% of people I've played using Wolf Freeze. Did not use every Roll Ice. And they have, op they have had opportunities to use it. That's what I've seen. Now, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. That's what, that's what I see. And I feel like yet people have to utilize that because it lowers their attack minus two. Why would you not do that? But whatever. Thunder Strike. Wait, that's super effective. Oh, never mind. I'll say super effective on Saturday's thing, but then there's Spectactic. Oh, I hate that doodle. Shock. Oh, my God. No, not this game. Oh, you still have Use Crowns. Use Crowns, Storm Heal, Shock Therapy. You name it, is the most annoying thing ever. Alright, we hit neutral. Wait. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. We can kind of kill. Oh. No use grounds. We probably kill. So we'll sit and run. Wait, it's exoskeleton. Whatever. Yeah, it's doing like nothing. Where's it roll of cool? I forgot I forgot the hidden traits call. I think it's exoskeleton now. I mean, why not go wolf freeze? It's crystal tight move. I think that's quad not very effective. I might be wrong. Let's see. Crystal cut. Oh, it was new. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, I about to say. Well, I mean, that kind of screws us up big time now. I mean, we can spam 
the first is onslaught, and whatever they go into is gonna get hit like a truck. So let's see. All right, thing's about to get shredded. Dang. Oh, we get sent out like that. That's how we go out. Like I might as well just cut some us taking the fat W, cause why not? All right, we're about to take the W. If they use Thorny Thwack, it could flinch, and if it does, I will scream, cause we will lose. Cause it Thorny Thwack will one shot Keltmere, guaranteed. So that, that does make me a little nervous. Or if it crits. All right, let's see. All right, we good. You already know, we finish off this battle, and we take the W. Alright, next battle, and counter, counter, neutral, counter. What is that, Doodle? Wait, what, what is that? Alright, and then neutral. Wait, what is that? What is that, Doodle? Alright, whatever. Do we... Oh, no, I'm really debating using Quick Ice, because fast... Wait, isn't fast food... Fast food's not very effective. So, I don't know. All right, we're good. That is a great start. I mean, that's why I feel like Wolfreeze is a really good starting doodle. And the thing is with Savage, the only other move it learns are Iron Chomp and Dark Slash. But I just don't think having all that, like, I'll honestly probably just do Dark Slash instead of Quick Ice and then run Royal Ice. Oh, and dang, I was thought they were going to have, like, something planned, but no, we just jet strike them. Or not jet strike, um, quick ice. So that's two down. Do I make it, or do I make it three? All right, honestly, yeah, I'll switch. Uh, electric type. Again, this is why I need an MHT Voltatu, because I've had way too many times I could have just gone to Voltatu, but back then I thought, air current was better and honestly it might have been because i feel like not many people used that like like there's not when static key was released there wasn't a lot of good electric types i mean voltatu this was before people discovered defensive voltatu all offensive voltatu sucks in my opinion um what was our, were electric types back then um zap was the only one honestly but like like i've said they all had terrible moves because no, none of them can learn Thunderstrike. And they, they forfeit. Alright, next battle. Drop them the good luck. Now we gotta lock in. Counter, counter, counter. Counter, I believe. Counter, alright, we counter 5 out of 6. Wolfries has crazy offensive coverage and awful defensive coverage. It's kind of funny. And I hate this matchup. <sighs> That's probably going to use Icy Slash. Because if we don't live, who cares? Alright, they're taking... Some stuff going to take too long. I'm just going to cut when I actually do something. Oh, it actually did something. Okay, and they switched. Okay. Whoa, that's a little bit of a sus name, but okay. Wait a minute. We could kill. Ferocious Onslaught probably could kill. And if it doesn't, I'm uh, oh, I'm going to get so mad. But I'm just going to lower this, their attack by... Oh, crap. Oh. Alright. I mean, they can do it again. It doesn't matter. We just go Boltatu and just hit Thunderstrike. Wait. Yeah, because, I mean, if they do kill, we'll just go right back in the Wolfries. We know, because that's... If they do kill, we'll just go Party Bug, probably. Oh. And they go Rapid Current. I mean... I don't know. Abyssin, I feel like people don't need to... I feel like they people should stop using the... Um, what's, what's the one trade that makes someone mean the light, bright lights? Because everyone expects it now. So you can kind of get away with it. Because it was such a common thing back then. Like, I, like I sometimes get away with air current because people don't expect you running that. So like I'll hit run and it does like a little bit more damage at the start. I'm at full. But now, I feel like people have, like, ingrained their head. This is probably bright lights. So you just don't use dark-type moves on you. And you can get a free holy water off or whatever. I mean, if it ever... Wait, does Abyssin learn Storm Heal? If Abyssin ever learns Storm Heal, it might become a tanky doodle. 
So it's gonna heal for 20, or not 25, 75% health in rain. Wait, if you put sponge on that, isn't that, I'd be on something. Wait, you heal for all your health back if it learns storm heal and sponge. I honestly might be on something if it learns storm heal. I gotta check that. All right. I'm just gonna spam shock therapy, so see you guys in a bit. Uh, I don't know. I, th I feel like Shattered would kill because I'm running Ruby Pendant, so th it gets the extra plus one. And if they switch in the Grufflin, who cares? I mean, honestly, I don't. <sighs> oh, way too late to be recording, honestly. I don't care. I'm a night owl. Not really. I'm joking. That's gonna do decent damage. All right. I mean, wait, I hit, hit, whatever. I don't know, my brain's not functioning really well at night time. Wait, we abuse. Wait, we can, uh, we abuse. All right, we win this, because we, we took down the one doodle up, we hit neutral. So I spam Icy Slash until they go Henshom. When they go Henshom, we use first Onslaught. There it is. All right, so I can do a lot. Dang. Uh, wait, no, we can just realize abuse. Like, that's the one... Henshaw's biggest weakness is because it can't use support moves. So if that's the case, it has to use an attacking move. <sighs> you know what? I don't, I don't know why I'm spitting out random words. Ground type should learn a pivot move. Or some. Because I feel like they're the most... I don't know. You can argue like they're one of the best and one of the worst typings because there's a jetpack in the game. And I like that. Like there's nothing else that helps... Bruh, come on, you had one job. You had one job. Alright, wait. Honestly, I'm gonna save that for when I need that. I feel like that's... See, I have Rush, so, like, on the Springling? Because that Springling can get scary if it... Like, it, when we start using Slash, or when it has Slash. Speaking of, Springling's become so good when it learns Carol's Assault. Like, it's literally become a problem. And that's going to be, like, the most annoying dude on the game. Because people are going to run Ruby Pendant. And if they're going to run Max Attack with that one thing that greatly boosts speed. Like, oh, my God. It's going to be, like, the worst thing ever. Electro Punch. All right. I knew it was super effective. But we severely lowered their attack. Or, not severely. Greatly. So, I didn't really think it mattered. <sighs> I'm tired. All right. And then, Lewis Perix. Because we're going to live. I feel like we can get, yeah, we, we're going to gain a little bit of health off that, so why not? And then, Frail Fury. I mean, honestly, you can go any me, my emo. I don't think they're going to switch. Correct. And then, honestly, if they somehow did kill or did something, I had the Lowest Prayer ready for Wolf Freeze, because that's another thing I really like about Wolf Freeze. So let's say a duel uses Lowest Prayer, faints, you can use Royal Ice for that one turn to go by, and then get the health back. Like, that's why I kind of discovered, like, when I was queuing up for a battle that I lost because I accidentally thought Wolf Freeze would kill something, and it didn't. I mean, it got down to literally, like, 3 HP. But, yeah, that happens. You know what? Ghost Prayer again. They're probably just going to crackling static. They... <sighs> why is that thing at Belch? <sighs> I can't stop yawning. Jeez. Alright, full health again. But, obviously the belch. Which I really don't care about. We'll see the little prayer again. So, it's going to use crackling static. Or right, thunderstrike. Dang, okay. They serious business. Alright, yeah, we're going out. Wait, we can Psycho Force? Royal Ice with Wolf Reese that we were talking about earlier. Alright, there we go. We're set. So, they're going to kill. They're going to kill. And I'm not going to lie, that Circle Bit skin is fire. Because he goes, meow. The meow. Oh, they Why? Okay, tough guy. No, no, we're not going to live a boo. Mm. I wish they had like a normal poison type so I could deal with lingering poison. And I could also deal with ghost types. That would be awesome. Alright, wait. Will we live? It's either that, or we go to Sumo. Hmm. Or do I sacrifice full Tatu? Like, my third yawn in a minute. Jeez. Alright. Hex out. That's still nothing. Come on. Oh, but no. Why is it not running Boo? 
Like, they have no deal that sets up lingering poison hex. So, like, why would they do that? Alright, well, it's hex punch. I mean, this probably won't. What the? Ain't no way. What the? That might have been the highest IQ play I've seen today. Alright. They're going to hit and run. I really don't care. I'm trying to get this battle over with. I need to go go sleepy sleepies because I am way too tired for this. Alright. I mean, yeah, I figured, well, I'll let this thing die. I just realized that last second. Like, spiky thorns just, just in case they have determination jelly. And now, whatever they go into, we'll wait. Yes, it's will freeze moment right here. Just go quick, guys. Let it die. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. Alright, quick ice. They switch in the surf a little bit, womp womp. They stay in, W. If they switch in the Grufflin, W. But yeah, surf a little bit, still in womp womp. And they're probably gonna switch. <sighs> they're going to switch. Why? Yeah, why? I could use Icy Slash. I was just gonna do. It's actually decent for. Super effective priority on a bulky doodle. And then, yeah, it's like party book cook, honestly. We'll use Psycho Force. If they switch on a Springling, there's a chance to be one shot. Alright, they don't. If they go Springling, there's a very, very, very low chance we have a Slash. And there's a chance we live a Leaf Blade, but that's quad not very effective. So, they, I'm like, never mind. I don't think this thing's bug. Wait, is it Bug Beast? I forget, whatever. Now it's Mind Beast. You know, Bug Beast is so much better. If it, eh. Alright, never mind. Maybe not. Leaf Blade. Wait, we love that. Oh, I. No, if we were. Yeah, I mixed it up again. I'm so dumb. Whatever. Alright, now let's go to Sumo Swift Talk. I don't know. I feel like the Sumo is, like, so underused. And, like, again, obviously, I'm not using an RS. RS is where. This thing looks like the next upcoming, um, what's it called, Von Sweets Medicro pre-nerf. Because that thing was probably, I don't know, that deal's interesting because it wasn't that great. But there was no counters to it in the game yet. So that's what made it great. So it was definitely good. Like, I would give it that. But when it didn't have any great counters, it was so good. I mean, because that's before Taruma. That seemed like back then. Clang Tang, like, would sort of counter it. Like, they would just switch. So, like, again, it was Clangy Tang, Moss, Metacro. Was, that was it back then. And we take the W. Overall, this thing did really, really well. You guys saw me take advantage of the Royal Ice, which I used appropriately. I didn't use it because I don't care. I want to use it. I tried using it, and I feel like if I did use it, there was no downside. And it was, like, not risky. But I also used it enough to the point where I almost used it up too much, which is fine. It's literally just a protect, again, like I said, with some upsides. I mean, it, this thing hit really hard against tanks, and this thing was tearing through doodles left and right. The ferocious onslaught on that retrovent with the plus 50% damage with the move and the, the lethal ornament on top, it one shot, you know, it was a tank. I mean, it was at two-thirds health, but still. I mean, overall, the team around it was decent. I could have had a poison type for lingering poison coverage, but we didn't counter that. I mean, I still feel like it performed really well with the team. And if you're really trying to, like, top it off, you could also run a magical set, but you should have really run Awaken Party Bug just for that plus 10% magic attack. But, I mean, overall, I feel like this thing is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.